Hey guys, back again, and I have a review of The Embassy of Cambodia by Zadie Smith. Now, I I was, I don't know, I was looking around for some things on Zadie Smith, and I saw this book. Now, this is basically, okay, that's the, the, the paper cover, and this is the book itself. Okay, kind of cute. Now, basically, this book is being marketed as a small book, if that makes any sense. It doesn't really make sense to me. But anyway, to me, this is just nothing more than a well-marketed short story. Now, the book itself is about a young woman whose name is Fatu. And Fatu is a servant in a home and uh, this is in a place called um uh it's it's called Will Willsden which is a neighborhood that is predominantly wealthy arabs and she works for a family in which she does all of the cooking the cleaning the taking care of the kids but for some peculiar reason she doesn't have her own passport I think it's really worth the read because this really shows you how brilliant Zadie Smith really is. She is a brilliant writer because it's basically separated into uh, 21 chapters. And the chapters are headed like that with like zero in the number. And basically, I think it's the way you score when you play um, badminton. As you can see, that's kind of a theme in the in the book is badminton. And okay, with these 21 chapters, you have nothing more than 69 pages of writing. And you, as you can see, it's, you know, the writing is quite largely spaced and all that. Now, this story first was published in the New Yorker. I'm not sure when, I think maybe last year or something, or maybe even the beginning of this one. I can't remember. That's how it kind of got popular and people started to talk about it. Then they decided to market it as a small book. You can also get it on um, in on the ebook form. And I think you can even get it for free on the internet if you look. Now, the storyline is very strange because there's a change of perspective that goes from we to I, if I remember correctly, and it kind of, you know, it's like shifting back and forth between we, I, and third person. Anyway, in the beginning, I thought that was a bit odd, and I was just like, why? And then as you read along, you'll understand better why there's this we. I won't tell you that, because that's, of course, that'll be a, that's a major spoiler. But basically, in each chapter, it's as if though you have a picture of a particular episode in the life of Fatu. And the, 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 the episode has some kind of reflection on some aspect of culture, society, uh, that kind of thing. But the thing that is so brilliant about it is that Within each chapter, it's, it's there. She doesn't say a lot though. She doesn't say a lot, but you understand exactly what she means or what she's trying to convey. I will say, I don't think this book is for everybody because I think some people will read this and think, what is this all about? You know, immediately they're going to find it a little bit too minimalist maybe, but I think it, 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 that's part of uh, how Zadie Smith writes. She does have this sort of minimalist, you know, way of writing. She doesn't want to tell you everything. She wants to show you, and you have to figure out what it means. the The character Fatu is fairly developed in this tiny short story, but I was dying to read more about Fatu. Uh, but it's a short story, and see, this is the problem I have with short stories is. When you become attached to a character, whether you like the character or you don't like the character, but you want to see how the character is going to progress or the things that will happen to them in the future, you can't help 
but want to know more and there just isn't more. Now, I don't know, maybe she will take this short story, uh, The Embassy of Cambodia, and turn it into uh, a, a, a full-fledged novel with Fatou as the main character. That would be great, but uh, I'm not so sure that's going to happen. But basically, Fatou is a pretty strong woman considering the position she's in. Her only escape uh, during the day is to steal guest passes from her from her family, the family that is has hired her to work as as a as a live-in, you know, nanny maid. She steals the passes so that she can go swimming uh, in the pool. Which you find out about Fatu there is that she can swim very well, but in the beginning she couldn't swim at all. So that tells you a good idea of the kind of person she is. She's the kind of person who perseveres no matter what and of course as you read the story you learn more about her her family life lots of things and you, you learn so many things that when you're finished because I read this in like half an hour it, it's really short I'm not a I'm not a particularly fast reader but I read this in a half an hour and I was I mean I'm even thinking about rereading it because I'm sure every time you read it you see something new inside the story. So I would give this a three stars. I think I give it three stars on, on Goodreads. I'm probably not going to write a, um, a blog post on this one, although who knows, I might change my mind, but I don't think so. It's just so short and it, it's, yeah. But I would say give it a go. If you like Zadie Smith, I really like Zadie Smith and I like her writing. I haven't gotten a chance to read NW, but who knows, maybe that I'll, I'll pick it up eventually really soon. But I have read um, White Teeth, loved it, read On Beauty, eh, didn't like that one as much. Haven't picked up The Autograph Man yet, but that might be something I need to do. But yeah, if you are if you like Zadie Smith and you're interested in seeing what she can do short story-wise, pick this one up. I think it's really worth the read. I think you can find it on the internet for free if you look. And I don't think it's too difficult. If you're somebody who hasn't read Zadie Smith yet, I would say don't start with this one. I would say start with On Beauty because On Beauty is more like a more typical type story uh, than some of her other work. Uh, because I think um, White Teeth is hit or miss for people that aren't used to her type of, her type of writing. So that's all I have for you today. Embassy of Cambodia, three stars. Uh, check it out if you're a lover of uh, Zadie Smith. Bye.